Hello, everybody from Costa Rica. This is my girlfriend, Mercedes, who's also my rock star financial <laughs> advisor here. So she's spending the week with me, and this morning she asked me if I want breakfast, and I said, oh, we're not doing breakfast, we're doing intermittent fasting. So you're gonna do the whole 12 weeks with me. Um, and actually, I have a bunch of friends in real life that are doing this. I, in fact, half of my company is doing it. And in fact, if you're watching, I hope my whole company does it. Hi, Tammy. Um, so what I wanted to talk about uh, as I was up early capturing my uh, morning, I was sitting outside watching the sun came up and I really dove into the why. Okay, because what I noticed when we were talking about, you know, why someone would want to do a kickoff program for really the rest of your life, if that's the way I'm approaching it, I feel like I'm on the second half of my life and I want to do it right this time. And you know what, when you're older, you can't Not afford once. to do it wrong. You really can't because then your health starts to go. So I think, you know, I was just thinking of all the people that I had encountered over the years that helped me. Karen. <laughs> Karen. Yep, Karen, Julie, hello everybody. Okay. Um, kind of helped me in business. And I feel like this is the same approach because the reality is it is hard to it change your habits. It oh. is hard to say no to things that give us pleasure, like mojitos. Mm -hmm. And in order to get that going, you have to have something really powerful driving you and for me in business it's never been an issue you know lose funding have funding good days bad days because my purpose is that I feel God anointed me to, to. bring this science to the world so in business it's super super easy so then it's like okay well now I have to make time to do all of this put myself first do the thing that all the women have trouble with and it's like I got to get something that powerful uh, behind this or else you're really just doing a program and you're not gonna stick with it you know no. um, so when I was yeah. reading the comments you know people were like oh I want to get in a bikini oh I want to feel more comfortable oh I want to do this and those are that's a great starting point for building this out um, but that's not the real why the why is always a deep, deep feeling. Yes, something down there. Heart. So I'm gonna take yeah. you guys through an exercise to get to that. Um, and what I want you thinking about, um, you guys know I'm super into blue zones because I think, mm -hmm. particularly in Americana, we have a little bit of a, you know, we all say we wanna be happy, but we don't know what, what that is, right? What is, what um, and I can tell you, Costa Rican happy is different than American happy. Just even being here is, is different. You know, Pura Vida is a real thing. It's a real <laughs> lifestyle. <laughs> but I, I was working out of um, Blue Zones by Dan um, Butner. And statistically, and I'm a science girl, so I like the numbers, but statistically, what actually makes people happy, if you can see this, is living in purpose, pride, and pleasure equally balanced. So when I was thinking about my why, I was trying to get at what was I really trying to do? Like, is, is it part of my purpose? Is it something that makes me feel prideful? And is it something that gives me pleasure? So I tried to kind of have that in the back of my mind while I was weaving through this. So I'm gonna give you guys what I came up with for my personal mission statement. And what I'm asking everyone to do is to photograph it, or if you're that girl that wants to, I see some Spanish, so you can help read. From Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanna give you my mission statement, and when you guys finally come out the pipe of this live feed, Hopefully you'll have a very, very strong mission statement. I wrote it right in the front of my companion guide, and then I'm gonna make myself a, something an illustrator and put it right on the home screen of my phone. I think we should, if we can we get things to print, yeah, we'll print it out. <laughs> yes. Because you wanna have yeah, your why always in your consciousness, or you get done with a long day, you're not no. caring about what you're doing, and you're not 
refocused and centered on why you started this in the first place because I don't want a bunch of people to do a 12-week transformation program change their body change their life and then you know turn it right back off so really we're actually trying to have some purposeful change in habits yeah and everybody goes oh you need to change your lifestyle it's a lifestyle but even professionals at doing this you know we're still human beings and when you lose sight of your mission statement it's it's very easy to get off track so this is where I landed with mine and I'm just gonna warn you guys if you didn't read um, what I wrote in my journal I just decided to go for it I mean there's some extremely personal information in there and also um, you know some of my real insecurities I tried to be super honest uh, with myself and I hope that you will do the same don't don't do the companion guide to make it look good or for someone else to read it. Do the companion guide to... Um, for it. Yeah. To, for yourself. For Think yourself to yourself. own it. You don't have own to post it. yours. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so let's just start with the mission statement. So my mission statement I landed with was, I am committing to this 12 week transformational life kickoff so that I can align my intentions, thoughts and actions with a life that promotes the feelings of youthfulness, freedom, pleasure, joy, athleticism, glorifying God through purpose in educating, inspiring, and loving, which is kind of a new thing yeah. for me, approaching this with love, <laughs> um, with a commitment to evolve deeper, okay? So when I compare accomplishing that with a mojito and some pad thai or, or brownies <laughs> or brownies that's your thing i don't that's like sweets name, right? no. have you ever seen me eat a sweet never, never. i don't eat sweets no. i don't like them i don't I like do. sugar at all <laughs> i do my stevia plant yes that's true. i will that muddle some yes. <laughs> stevia isn't that crazy they sell them here they walk around to the restaurants and sell stevia how wonderful is that let me bring you a sugar plant basically or a fake sugar plant okay so there wasn't an actual place for the the notes so right inside this very first page is where i did um the work okay so you do have a blank page that's on the second page on the inside but where i want to start you off is where we started just a few days ago okay and i had written some little things so we're on the page called before you begin Okay, and we were talking about halfway down the page about what would your life be like if your body was at its best. You didn't fill out that part. <laughs> and I kept mine Thank super you. simple. I was like not worrying about um, what I wear, um, surf whatever breaks that I want. Um, and then I had added being confident completely naked. Not that I'm gonna become a nudist, but I, I still want to feel good and feel do good that. And see you. Um, and then what will you be able to do once you've reached your goals that you can't do today? And one of the things that I miss about having a much more athletic body is that people would always be like, wow, are you an athlete? What do you do? And it opened the door for me to talk about, you know, my life story and what I'm doing. So. Um, the other thing is that I want to be even more of an inspiration and I'm hoping that you guys watching me transform I've done it many many times I just never done it before your eyes and in, letting in everybody eye, see like, it because it's see dirty right yeah the process is not pretty remember this is rebuilding a house <laughs> <laughs> so um, I also put on here that I would feel much more comfortable doing a live feed blasting in a bikini you know, I don't feel comfortable that. I will, I'll do a live feed in a bikini, but moving my fat around does not overly excite me, okay? So these are just some of the things. So I, I built out that part. And then it says, write down three reasons. And the reason I wanted Mercedes to come is she is more like me. She's a checklist girl versus yes, a journal agent. girl. So yes. I'm gonna walk her through the journal and you guys go along with us, okay? And I want you to answer these questions if you feel comfortable in the live feed and that way I can kind of help uh, guide you, okay? okay? So I had broken down into my one, two, three. I broke it down physically, mentally, and spiritually. 
So okay. did you did you separate it that way? No, I didn't. Are it all of yours physical? It is physical. It's in Spanish. It's like, <laughs> yes. Uh, discipline in the long term goal. Okay. Well, I mean, that kind of is physical, is physical. mental, and yeah. your long term life plan, life spiritual. Plans, yes. yes. So, what I want you to do is go in next to those and build them out. Okay? okay. So, what I did was for the word physical, I said for all of the above. I mean, I want to be for that reason. Yes. And then I put something that had more meaning behind it because I am a believer in God and I believe that this is our temple. And for me, I feel like I have not, I've been given this gift of this body to live in and maybe I haven't treated it as good yeah. as I could have. That this is a temple and so that is more powerful for me. So Let's go back to, care of it. what does that say? Mejor mi apariencia, does it look better? Okay, look better. Healthy. So go deeper into that. So what about Ooh. looking better? Looking better, have what a is, better What's shape. the feeling attached to that? that you don't have right now. I can tell you what it is, because when I told her she was gonna do the live feed, she was like, let me go put on makeup, and I said, no, absolutely not. This is about, right, so reach a little deeper, so it's about confidence, confidence in myself. And, and what else? So if you had the confidence, so let's say you could flash forward physically to where you wanna be, what would be the first thing that you would do? If I had a magic wand and Go did it. walk and running on the beach in the beginning. Okay, and then what With is the feeling behind that? Happiness. Happiness. Freedom. Freedom. Happiness. Freedom. Perfect, okay. Freedom. So start jotting that down, okay? Veronica Bucca says the body is a temple. Isn't yes, it? I always body. feel like, you know, if you believe in a higher power or whatever or you whatever believe in. Whatever you believe. If you believe that your body was the vehicle that you were given and the person who gave it to you or the entity that gave it to you came down and said, what are you doing? Wouldn't you have a different perspective? I have to respond. Or if they said, let me give you a different body that doesn't function this good, you yes. know? It's like when you don't take care of your car. That's right. What is gonna happen? Yeah, nothing. It's gonna <laughs> sit yes. in the garage. <laughs> okay, so then let's look at the mental aspects. And to me, I do separate mental and spiritual. Um, so mental for me went to like things that rob my time and I said yes. streamline my work because I'm yes. the person that um, If people aren't doing what I think they need to do. I'll just do it myself. Just do it. Do yeah, it. that's not sure. good So and again, I'm just sharing mine. This may be yours. It may not be yours um, and then financial confidence and I think because you know I've had my own business and it's always up and down and this and that you know, it's that financial confidence has nothing to do with whether you have money or not. It has to do with what, what you do how you feel time. about your decision making. And so while I'm transforming my body, I'm going to be putting boundaries around my business and developing that out. So think about your, she said discipline. Yes. So build that out and then find the feeling because the feeling for me ended up being confidence. That will be trusting so, in somebody else doing the things and they're doing correct. Okay, great. So, so jot that down. Uh, delegating. Delegating. Organization. And what's robbing you from that now? Are you getting up early? Are you taking time to actually organize or do you just wake up and go? Oh, no. I need to organize myself. Okay. Every single day I have to write down everything what I need to okay, do. Okay, so imagine your like listicles, I've seen them, and then you <laughs> complete them and your discipline with it and your discipline with the program, what is the feeling that that is gonna give you? At the end of the day, you did your workout, you did your blasting, you got your work done, you were able to devote time to freedom and fun and the beach and all that, then to what? be satisfying because I got to accomplish everything okay, so that I did. Okay, so probably wanted, you wanted. are comfort driven. I comfort the driven. satisfied, the yes. I did a good job. That's actually also like pride. A, yeah, so I I'm, did. So I'm trying to help you guys through working with Mercedes to help you find your words, okay? So please put up there if you, yes, Lauren Ojo says joy, sense of accomplishment. Yeah, Those are very serious That's drivers, serious. okay? Joy, to me, is a word that's almost like a childlike word. It's Meaning like the joy therapy, is yeah. like when you're dancing and you're feeling the rhythm and nothing else matters. Joy is... Enjoy the exact moment that yes, you are Yes, the exact right moment now. that Everything you're in. Is Surfing in is so huge for um, generating joy because 
you can't think about anything else or you're going to get mowed over by a wave. <laughs> so, and you, it and is very childlike. It's very much, you know, playful. So I love joy and I think we absolutely should be chasing joy. And by the way, in the den, Bumner, your joy is your pleasure. Your pleasure. And we and don't we, focus we on memories this memories as well. That's right. That's what makes it happy. The memories. Okay, girl. Yes, so now we're going to go into what I'm loosely calling spiritual for me because I am religious. It's related to that. I also kind of uh, built in what I'm learning with uh, meditation. And, you know, I'm going the hardcore. Like, I'm learning it in Indian. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm really learning about going inside of myself and wanting to go deeper and deeper. And... One of the things that really struck me that Mariel said, and Mariel's my shaman, she said, protect yourself like in a cocoon. And then and she's like, yourself. and if anything is coming at you in the cocoon, the antidote basically, I'm using now somebody else's words, but the, the antidote for that is love. And I thought, wow. wow. Because to me, the antidote is like, <laughs> boom, yes. Boy. So I'm, I, from spiritual, I'm wanting to go deeper, deeper, operating from a place of actually being the love. Okay? I love and you. I love all of you. Love you. <laughs> um, and then having uh, God or the world's energy flow yeah, through me. Okay? So that is a very, very powerful thing to yeah, do. So your yeah. long-term... We'll just call it metaphysical. Yes. What could? What is the shift for you? My shift would be believe mm -hmm. in something that I can get. Yes. Yeah, so Mercedes had a very like big it. transition. Um, yes. Something she had been hanging on to for a long time. So she's she's now, taking it to the next level. Yeah. Something, something super even. Yes. So if you had a, a higher purpose in your life and, and you could picture that. What would the feeling be? Is it like peace. a belonging? Like oh. a belonging and be peaceful. Peaceful. I like yes. peace. Peace is peace. huge. It will be like <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so is anybody the out there? Love, love is the answer. Yeah. It really is. Um, Yay, it, is anyone out there <laughs> willing to share a little bit about their physical, mental, or spiritual yeah. reasons that they are committing to the journey? If you are, just jot it down just really quick. <laughs> you can Come do on, Spanish too. <laughs> that's right, you can do <laughs> We're bilingual today. Learning Spanish is very hard. Peace yes. is huge, they're saying. So what yeah. you've got to figure out, you could reverse engineer this. I started with physical, mental, and spiritual, but you could right, start you with, peace. you know, peace, pride, right. pleasure, confidence, this, that, the other, and then reverse engineer it to what would that physically look like? What could you actually put into play? Veronica Baca says, capable physically capable as I age. age. Girl, that is a huge That's one for me one. because at 27, I completely had my health taken away. And so I know what it's like to live in a body that absolutely does not work. And so now, considering that it's like my, you know, first half of my life and moving into the second half, I want to do it. I want to do everything right. Everything. Sheila Berry says, I want to connect with my higher self and my God within. That's a yeah, really, that's huge a really, really huge one. I also do believe that, um, you know, with the u proper use of intention with the tonics, with the food, with the meditation, that those are all just um, tools cool. to help you to, to get to that. To get to that's that. exactly right. Being uh, healthy so I can be totally, totally present, present for my family in my 90s. Oh! Yes! <laughs> well, the, the fascination uh, with the blue zones headache, is that. Headache and migraine pain. Hillary, take the mini two. <laughs> <laughs> Just take the mini two. Just take the mini two. Uh, listen, I know that there's going to be a lot of people who have pain, okay? And I, I'm certainly not saying that whatever diagnoses you have is not legitimate. What I'm saying is you don't know how legitimate it is, it is until you do everything right. Because I've had people say, oh, Ashley, don't you want to have a hip surgery revision? Because my hip was hurting. Oh, you know, or don't you want to, have you tried this medication or whatever? Yes. And my answer is always like, I'll put that in the back burner, but I want to make sure that I'm doing everything right first. And this program is about doing everything right. What'd she say? She wants to align her life with spiritual life. 
Yep. That goes back to the very start of my mission yes. statement, which is, I love this, and I already have my little meme, my intention, like thoughts, and actions being aligned. Oh, that was a good one. Okay. Seeing so, so my parents working now and making this a priority gives me an insight to see where it's I like that. Hold oh on, I'm going to read Lisa. Someone. You're supposed to be filming this out. Get to it. <laughs> <laughs> She's, Lisa Fuque says, seeing my parents not working out or making fitness priority gives me the insight to see where I'll be in 20 years, and that's not how I want to be. I like that because it's almost like a, a negative motivation, but it's still a big one. Yes. You know, you, you see what you don't future, want to be. Exactly. Where you're getting into if you don't do something. I know. My now. parents frustrate the hell out of me. I hope they're not on here today. <laughs> I try to serve in this inspiration and I've introduced some of these components. But at the end of the day, this is why it's so important for you to find your why. Because otherwise, it's me telling you what to do and I am not going to do that. I'm going to empower you to, to know to how to do it, you know? To get there. Listen, people used to spend a lot of money to get this for me to transform them from movies or, you know, pro athletes who were changing positions. And that's why I decided to go ahead and open up my Rolodex. And You're right. like out of frame, oh, come in. <laughs> okay, so let's go on. It says, uh, summarize it in a single Sorry. sentence. And that's where I was like, okay, we don't have enough room. So I flipped oh, over okay. to developing my why. Okay, so I just transitioned these things that we just said, like the three, you know, mental, spiritual, and um, physical, and then I transferred them over here and began to develop them out. So the way that you develop it out is just to simply say, and what would be different if I did that? And then whatever you answer, you say, and what would be different if I did that, okay? So I'll take you through my train of thought and you can kind of copy me in your own way, okay? So I had started with not worrying about what I would wear, okay? So then what would be different if I did that? Well, I would go out more and I would also be more social. Um, and then what? I would get more exercise and less crazy hit. And what if I did that? Well, I would feel sexier for my boyfriend. And what if I did that? Well, then I would get some new clothes and I would remove some of these thoughts, you know, like, you know, oh, he's coming over. I need to, yeah, I need to yeah. wear like a <laughs> right. smaller top. And <laughs> yeah, change, make sure everything, you know, whatever. Um, and, and then I would try to get at what are the feelings behind that. And I like the idea of just saying it and then going back and circling. I'll let you guys look at mine. So and I went back. Line. Yep, keep writing. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll post yours in the Spanish group. Um, but then I came to that I would have more mental freedom. Because think about that. If you're not worried about your which wear, and so that's that's the word freedom. freedom. And then I would feel sexier, sexier. I would feel younger, younger, and then I, it would be more pleasurable. So really, the, the deep-rooted why is those feelings that I'm going after. Okay. So let me take you, go through your first one. Which okay. one is it? I can't read that. What would be different if I do it? I definitely, physically, uh -huh. I'll be out more comfortably, and especially I would wear insurance. Mm -hmm. Mercedes shorts. never, uh, she, never. I'd never. show up to Costa Rica and she'd have on jeans. Before the Fashion Blaster, she wouldn't even wear shorts. I'm like, it's yeah. 110 degrees. Not outside, only inside my house. And now but she now, has on a cute little dress. Um, Okay, so that gets you in the shorts. In okay, the shorts. so when yes. you're in the shorts, what does that actually do for your mental state and your spiritual state? I feel happy because I got to wear them. And I'm seeing my body changing and I'm seeing that I'm doing something positive. Uh, I know this about you. I can help pull this out of you. Mercedes yes. is an achiever and she likes that incremental success. And so I, that, just the act of achievement, that again goes back to that pride. Yep. That's good. Also the pleasure, the pleasure. pleasure of wearing shorts. Pleasure. And the, the purpose, maybe not so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then, so my next thing that I had built out from this was all physical, which was being able to surf any break, okay? So that's just a broad statement. But when you break it down, it, what, the things that would actually provide for me is that it would give me more freedom of my schedule because right now I have to design everything around the perfect wave, right? <laughs> when if I could go on a blown out day and a bigger day, maybe I could do it later in the afternoon or maybe I could do it in the morning. Yeah, in the so that is a big thing. Um, I would also be able to bond with locals because 
It's like right. street cred here to be able to <laughs> surf, okay? If you paddle out and you yeah. are the only white person, you better you pop better up and do, do something. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then, so the, the, the feeling that I associated with that was joy. Okay? Um, and then also confidence in the waves. Mm -hmm. um, I also, for me, it would, one of the things I do is beat my body up sometimes. And when I say that, I just mean like I get mad. I get mad that I had arthritis. I get mad that I, you know, had a bone infection. I'm like, why does somebody have so many problems? And I really want to develop gratitude for the fact that I do have the athleticism at my age and even develop that more. And for me, kind and of you like you're everything. achieving, that's my, I am the queen of overcome. <laughs> Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> hey, look, Victoria's. Hey. hey. <laughs> So some of this, for some of you, may be about that victory, and it may be a yeah. little victory. You know, I, when we it ask you guys for videos, I remember this one lady, and I wish I knew her name. I'd call her out right now, but she was just amazing. She goes, this may not be a big deal for anyone else, but for me, this is a very big deal. And she had filmed herself trying to do a squat, and she was, like, falling over backwards. And she went through blasting and whatever other program, and she was able to do a full squat. Be careful, because it'll come in third. I'll show you. So your your goal may just to be a do a squat, or your goal may be to just start with getting off of soda. Look, people have major goals here to work on repairing my shoulder tear naturally and avoid surgery, surgery. learning to love and accept myself. In this ever-changing season it would be great to have heart butt incorporated by the way you can incorporate whatever you want um, I have designed it to have resistance training so if you want to put yourself through heart butt that's what you put in your journal I'm gonna be doing a lot of heart butt fulfill my God-given potential I want to get rid of infection and inflammation huge Lauren Oho has a really great point. She says, fascia is a communication system for the body and it communicates with us too. It's the missing link. Incorporating all the opponents is so wonderful. Hands-on self-mastery. That That's is exactly it. what I'm exactly. trying to get you to do. <laughs> okay, your Latin family. Knows. I love my Latin family, honey. Listen, salsa music was made for me. Listen, pain-free, move better, look better, confidence. Not only do I want to heal my body, I'm hoping to do this and heal my heart. Yeah, I love you, Ophelia. So. You're so awesome. Yes, definitely like tons yeah. of comments. Let me get ahead and then maybe, okay, now they're coming in. Real time. Yes. All right, so then circle okay. your words. Circle your words that are your feelings. Okay. Mm hmm What is Libre? Free. Free. Oh, Nacho Libre. <laughs> I just <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <true. laughs> That's so funny. We're <laughs> poor Americans with our one little language to speak yeah. ourselves. All right, so then I went on Confidence. to, um, I'm just gonna give a word of warning. I'm gonna talk about nudity, tea, and sex for a minute, so you can close your ears if you're not into that. Um, I know Mercedes is in it to it. She told me that sex was the cure for everything. <laughs> it does, right? <laughs> <laughs> so confidence being naked, um, for me, that's about being more open. Um, you know, when you're not comfortable in your body, you're guarded. You're guarded. Yep. So it was about being open. Um, I also, you know, that goes into a deep purpose for me because this is God's creation. Um, I also want to develop a deeper sexual connection, and connection was the word that I. Connection. Yes. I think it was connection to um, my boyfriend, and then just that connection with the energy around us and everything. Just connection in general. Um, by the way, Blue Zones talks an awful lot about, you know, connecting with nature and others. Um, removing crazy head with naked oh. or sexual. Everybody knows what I'm talking crazy about. Thoughts. Like, you know, I'm going to just tell you one of mine. Like, being bent over and like, what are these boobs doing? You know, or... Um, <laughs> Where are they doing? Right, is anything oh, my legs. No. hanging my or sagging? Oh. Or, oh, no, my leg is pinched and I can't... Okay, I'm, I'm done with that in this 12 weeks, so... That is a very big all have driver. I want to just yes. be like, woo! He, poor Danny, he didn't know what's going to hit him. And then total physical freedom. So the words that I ended up circling was uh, connections, crazy head, and freedom. Oh, crazy head. And all you'll right see all the things weaved in there, like yours with crazy head. Yes. Look at how that goes with freedom, confidence, victory. Okay.
So this will help you to craft your uh, mission statement. Okay, so then I was moving on to um, more my mental and spiritual. Um, and one of the things that I had written down was I liked when people were like, what do you do for your body? And it's not because I need validation from anyone. Clearly, I don't. <laughs> but confidence it, it's not even the confidence for me. It's the fact that that is what opens the door for me to help somebody. And it is a need. This is a is part of my purpose to take the blessings and gifts yes, and yes. knowledge and people that I've encountered and to help people. And so just by the act of looking a certain way, it opens the door. You can be turned like an yeah. example for others. That's right. For your beloved, for your family, for your sister, yes, friends, yes. for everybody. For my I have my <laughs> little one. <laughs> my little sister, she loves lasting. What about, so go, we're going back, so I want to make sure, look how big my list is. Go back to your three things. What were the other ones? The discipline. Let's go discipline. down the discipline. Okay, so in your discipline, build that out. And what would be different if I did that? Okay, just think about that for a second. So whatever your yours is, mm -hmm. Ask yourself, and what would be different if I did it? And then you say, okay, this would be different. And then once that's different, what would be different then? That's the thought process that I went mm -hmm. through. So for me, me, I said, help more yeah. people, okay? Okay, and what would be different if I did that? Well, then I would believe and know that I'm living the brand. Okay, great, well then what would be different about that? Well, it would be not just about fashion blasting, but a fascia-centric life. And what would be different if I did that? I would impact the world and inspire in a better way. Oh, and so okay, that that's, one. it took me a little while to get there. Yeah, so circling the words. Big. What is that? Example for others. Example. And if I can make it, other people can make it. Yes. And is that a driver for you? Is that a driver, of course, because somebody, yeah. if you, if somebody sees you different, mm -hmm. say, what are you doing? So mm -hmm. you'd be able to not help to them and say, your family. Yeah, without talking about my family, Merce my aunts, my friends, Mercedes my sister is a helper, <laughs> for sure. Like she, yes. every time I come down, she's like, bring me more blasters. I'm like, I can't fit in more of my suitcase. <laughs> but her family is all avid blasters. So I yes. know that, that you like to kind of be that uh, of hookup person. Yes. Yeah, I so like that him. goes a lot to your purpose. And then, so if people were doing that, what would be different? They will be helping others. That's right. Because that's why so my aunt is doing yep. right now. She's talking with her friends. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I'm doing so when your aunt is explaining fascia blasting or whatever she's explaining about the whole thing to another person, what is the feeling that you get? Um, satisfaction. Okay, satisfaction. Satisfaction. That's right. So Mercedes is definitely driven by like confidence, achieving, and helping. Yeah. Okay, great. The lift girl. <laughs> and then I went in to be more of an inspiration. And so for me, this one was easy. So what if I, uh, what would be different if I did that? My purpose is to educate and inspire, right? So yes. obviously if I'm more of an inspiration, I'm living in purpose, which is one of the three the elements three that elements. makes us happy. <laughs> These are people living to be a hundred and being happy. Thank you for all your hard work. And then the only last one I had was blasting in a bikini on live feeds, which by the way, it is not even about that. It's just the fact that I feel that I can be a better educator, a better motivator. It's a personal victory for me um, to overcome. I do have hermit tendencies, believe it or not. Um, oh yeah, I would love to just stay. I'm very much a loner, which yes. people don't believe because I'm, I love when I am social, but I have to sort of be dragged out. <laughs> so inner strength, peace, purpose, okay? So keep writing, I want your whole okay. page full yeah. and then we can work at putting it into a sentence because really your circled words is what you're gonna take over to your mission statement. Okay, so did you guys um, do your writing? Because I would love to know what words you circled and if you didn't circle them, what came to your mind? Rhonda, Fry, and also all my hermit friends. So I have to tell you guys something. Keep writing, because we gotta do, you're the example, we gotta do your Memphis Division statement. So people who are the happiest, I don't know if it's in this book or the previous one, but they spend an average of six hours a day socializing. 
Is that insane? You want to live to be 100? Socialize for six hours a day. So while she's writing and circling, just keep yeah. asking yourself, and what would be different if I did that? And what would be different if I did that? And what's the feeling? Okay? And then we'll get to you. You're going to have the most beautiful mission mm -hmm. statement ever. And I hope all of you out there do too. Okay. So while she's writing, the things that actually truly make us happy, again, this is statistical data, is that they move naturally. So, you know, we sit at a computer mm -hmm. and then bang it out at the gym or we just don't. Okay. But moving naturally, think about it, back in the day, we would walk to the market, you would have the village who played with the children, you would have the men who were out hunting. I mean, this is, we were designed to get up and move all the time, and now we have these stagnant lives. So it's just interesting that in this current day and age where people are living to be 100, plus they move naturally. Uh, the second is that they're living with purpose. Three, they downshift. Okay, so it says, even people in the blue zones experience stress, which leads to chronic inflammation associated with ever, every ma major age-related disease the world's longest live have routines that shed the stress. Okay, so if you're not in the higher thinking group, get in the higher thinking because I am going to be working with you guys on your schedules. Okay, uh, the 80% rule, which is basically just not eating till you're full. full. It was interesting today, we were at lunch with my surf instructor and in Costa Rica, if you are not actually hungry, it's a, considered a sin or gluttony to eat. Yeah, and it happened the other day, if y'all saw my big fish that I caught, uh, we brought a bunch of it to the uh, table and he ate a lot. And so then we went surfing later in that afternoon and he's like, oh, I'm not eating. And I said, why aren't you he eating? Was, he was feeling he, guilty. Yeah, he didn't want the, the gluttony of it. And I just thought that was actually really like a beautiful way to approach food because, you know, we're taught clean your plate. <laughs> so let's see. Socialism is the necessity of life. Listen, Rhonda Fry, I really do believe that socializing can be done on Facebook, but yes. the more we do it in person, I was thinking it would be, direction, it'd be cool with doing the companion guide together if they did the invite your friends and watch together so that you can, you know, afterwards you can talk to your real friends. Well, I don't want to say real friends. Yeah, I mean, like you're in, 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 in our non-Facebook world <laughs> friends. Um, but for sure, I'd love for you guys to socialize with me. Keep going. Keep no. circling. Okay, dis what was after discipline? Go back to your other page. Um, We're going to work this journal. The last one. La long term. Plaza. Long term. In, in okay. Peace. So go with peace and reverse engineer your peace. What does peace look like? Uh, Just write it down. The ocean. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean is a big part of it for me, too. For um, me, the song. Thank so you, guys. I, I see you guys answering the questions. Okay, so then um, I'm just going through, we had a little break here because I want Mercedes to end up with her mission statement over there. <laughs> um, number five of the things that create happiness is a plant slant, meaning beans, fava, back soy, lentils are the cornerstone of most blue zone diets. In fact, they're pretty much vegan with some meat mixed in. I think what used to happen in the world is people would, you know, make, you know, whatever they could gather up and then you know once every two weeks there might be some meat because of a, a hunt or things like that so um, I definitely support you if you decide to go meatless I'm yeah, gonna be fish only um, for this I'm doing the red green and yellow diet which will be posting in the, um, the group for nutrition and tonics <laughs> You guys are so great. Thank you for answering the questions. Um, number six is my favorite, and I'm very happy to reincorporate this once I get to where I want to be with my actual fat loss portion of my program. People drink two glasses of wine. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then going back to the social, um, all but five of the 263 centurions that they interviewed belong to a faith-based community. So your faith can take you a long way as well. Um, loved ones first. Um, so that's friends and families. So putting, for me, that was a big one, putting boundaries around work or incorporating more of a social loving aspect to my work. This does not feel like work. And then number nine was the right tribe. 
The world's largest, longest lived people choose or were born into social circles that help support healthy behaviors. So guess what everybody? You just found your tribe. <laughs> the Ashley yes. Black committed people doing this 12 week transformation is gonna be your tribe, okay? And hopefully you'll make real substantial friends. For those of you who have not followed me for a long time, I'm looking up at these names. I know over half the people on here, I have met most of them. This group generates real friends. It's very, very cool. Boundaries, Boundaries are challenging. Are challenging. You know, I, boundaries needed. is something that I always struggle with. I feel like I get my firm boundaries when I'm centered and then I let them go loose and then I'm mad and I'm like, why, why are they treating me that? Okay, fix your boundaries. Yeah, boundaries are super important. I had to really do that when we talked about the things that yeah. suck our time, putting boundaries and on boundaries. those things. And so, have a goal for everything. Have a goal. Okay, this have looks it. really good. Look, I actually got her to write. It's not. <laughs> Journaling is not in Mercedes wheelhouse. Yes. <laughs> she, she is the financial checklist. Got it. Pride, pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> it <worked all> set. <laughs> but this, this free writing, I mean, I've mm. kind of been forced to write for my job and I've really learned the habit of just free writing. So like whatever comes to your head, just, just, just jot it down do it. and then go back I and do the I just did and it's possible to do it. <laughs> if I did it, you all guys can do it. <laughs> And doesn't this kind and of have, make you ex make you excited? Yes. Because it's like you're going. You I'm know, a starting step something new. This that will be for it's a goal, and it's something I can achieve. Yeah. If I'm disciplined, if yes. I'm committed this to do it, and commitment. Okay, commitment. so I'm going to help you. I'm going to structure. You guys can structure your sentence however you want, but I'm going to help Mercedes to write it very similar to what I did. Okay, Ooh. so you're going to say, "I am committing to the 12 week." transformational kickoff so that I can, okay? So I am committing uh, to the 12 week transformational program so that I can. Okay, and then go back to some of your circle words and we'll put it into a sentence that makes sense. Here. Yeah, you can just kind of go like and flip back. Commitment. Okay, so you have, I see Vita, I know that word, life. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can have, okay, so. Uh, comprometo is this. Right, this your commitment. Is compromiso. Okay, perfect. It's commitment. Okay. Uh, the 12 weeks. Okay. And transform. Yep. It's like change and yep. accept that I can do it. Transformar. Yes. Mi transformar. vida y si puedo. And that I Why are people vida. calling on our live feeds? Okay. Okay. Wow. So you're going to make a change, a commitment to transform for your life. Yes. Because. Okay. So write uh, por qué. <laughs> por qué. Okay. So then let's go back to what you're actually chasing because you want a, a life filled That's with it. this. Because I want my life with confidence, peaceful, with joy, right. happiness. Freedom. Mm -hmm. Freedom is a big one for me. I don't like the thought of like having to worry about what I wear. No, I don't want that. Anymore. If I put on a muumu or a bikini, I, I want to feel the same. <laughs> 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 Dance with your and then write something to the effect yeah. and that that you're going to commit to, and then whatever the new. I would are. like to commit to help to somebody else to do it Perfect. after I finish. That would be my That's goal it. to find somebody who wants to do it, and I walk through to it. Okay, write it down, that's your mission statement. All right, how are we doing on mission statements? Has anyone actually done all, all the work and come up with their mission statement? I'd love to see it. I see Julie Chilberg. There's no way you haven't gotten a mission statement. This is right up your alley. <laughs> um, love so many of the people on here have had 
good, deep conversations. Very strong, amazing women yes, that are going to help guide you through this program. With my own skin, yes. Yeah. Yep. Want to feel good in my own skin. I like that you tied this to helping another person because I think that does give you accountability. Um, because it's like not only are you doing it for yourself, but you're doing it for the purpose of helping another person. That can be a very powerful driver. So read your beautiful sentence in Spanish to oh, our okay. audience. Listen, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up. Listen up. Me comprometo. A las 12 semanas estar en el programa de transformar mi vida. I'm transforming my life. Sí. In my body. Because, porque sí puedo. Y quiero una vida llena de confianza, libertad, tranquilidad. Hacer lo que quiera. Y también me gustaría encontrar a una persona y ayudarle. Love it. This is good. Yay. Yay. <laughs> you did awesome. Pulling teeth over here. Yes. Yay, Julie! Me and Love said she put them. She put them away, and she's dragging yeah, them back out. Listen, back out. I, I, do I don't think I know right. any single person on here that's like. I have stayed consistent with everything forever. Like, yeah. listen, if you're looking for that perfect person, this is not, nah. I'm not the one to follow. <laughs> <laughs> I am the perfect mess, okay? Look, you're getting some good. I'm getting. Yo, yo quiero, yo quiero que, que me ayudes. Listo, Marisela. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready. Lista. Oh, yes. I, I'm getting there. Yeah. Woo, Spanish Ooh. is muy difícil. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you, Lauren. <laughs> so the whole, all of this was about the mission statement, okay? So next time we go live, look, <laughs> we still have this part. And I was going to kind of just let people go through it, but look at the difference between me and Mercedes, <laughs> okay? I have clearly, clearly gone deeper than Mercedes. <laughs> and the only reason I care about that is it's, it's not to force you to do anything and it's not even to like overwork the journal. It's because the, the more conscious, conscious you are you of what you're doing, the better able you're gonna be to stick to it, okay? So stay tuned in the next few days and then we'll be and moving we'll on be to the back. rest of the intro. <laughs> That's right, and then also we have coming up the five Ps um, luckily, Mercedes brought me, you wouldn't yeah. believe it, but it's a five hour drive to the closest calendar and yeah. measuring uh, cloth. <laughs> so she brought that from San Jose for me. Thank you very much. You're um, but I do, I want to spend quite a bit of time in the intro of this. So I realized this was a lot of talking, but I hope that you got something out of it. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with us. And more importantly, I hope that your journal gets filled with all of your ideas because you have all the answers inside of you. Just dig deeper in your mind like I just did. Yes. And <laughs> if you have a friend right. like Mercedes, if I can do it, I can do it. <laughs> yeah. I can help you out with it. I'd be able to do it. You feel a little more motivated? Of course I do. Yeah, good. That's different. All you right, guys. You can write in, girl, so you can do it as well. See you guys in a day or two. Keep working on your companion guides. You can't write too much. Get your little stickers, whatever <laughs> makes you happy. And let's get to that deeper purpose so that we can have the most amazing transformations. Transformation. 12 weeks is a long time to transform. Yes. I can't wait. Girl, we're going to yeah. look so good. All right, everybody. All right. Have Bye. a fabulous Wednesday. You're over the hump. <laughs>